Doug Leslie from a neighboring town knew his 15-year-old daughter Lauren was in trouble when he got a late night phone call. Midnight, I get a call from the cops saying that, uh, asking if Lauren was there. And I said, what's going on? He said, well, if Lauren's home, somebody's using her ID. So I thought that was kind of strange. What does that mean someone was using her ID? Well, they found her ID in a, in a vehicle. Doug began driving along the Highway of Tears until he found police lights. His daughter's body had been discovered. She was molested, beat over the head with a pipe wrench, and her throat was cut. Who could do such a thing? Not a human, for sure. The Highway of Tears is a 450 mile corridor of Highway 16 between Prince George and Prince Rupert, British Columbia in Canada. It has been the location of many missing and murdered women. The phrase Highway of Tears was first coined during a vigil held in Terrace, British Columbia in 1998 by Florence Nazil, who was thinking of the victims' families crying over their loved ones. The highway has over 80 victims, all women, some missing, some murdered. Some estimates are higher. The span of crimes began in 1970 and continue through the present day. Over half of the missing women are indigenous women of First Nations. The rural region is plagued with poverty and lacks public transportation, and so many residents turn to hitchhiking as a form of transit, or because of poverty, partake in high-risk lifestyles to survive. Many of the Highway of Tears victims were last seen or reported to be hitchhiking before their disappearances. In 2005, the RCMP launched a provisionally funded project, ePANA, which started with a focus on some of the unsolved murders and disappearances of young women along Highway, highway 16. They began investigating similarities between the cases. One woman, Nicole Hoare, a Caucasian woman who disappeared in 2002, received a disproportionate amount of media attention at the time of her disappearance, and it was fully noted by the indigenous population. We have a major break in this case, and it involves an American. E. Panna is responsible for linking the homicide of 16-year-old Colleen McMillan, who was killed in 1974, with the now-deceased American serial killer Bobby Jack Fowler. E. Panna now considers Fowler a suspect in the murders of two other highway victims, Gail Ways and Pamela Darlington, both of whom were killed in the 1970s. Not all of the victims of the Highway of Tears are unsolved, but a great portion of them are, and there are still missing women. Do you have information? All women deserve a voice, and these women have gone far too long without one. The fact that murders and missing are still happening along this highway. Canada just recently has stated that cell service will be intact by 2022, but this is so little. We need to keep this one alive. We need to still search for the perpetrators and not let the victims or the victims' families ever be forgotten.
Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe.